it, it is definitely true that I mean maybe there are occasionally companies that get created where where you, there's not an extended period of extreme pain, um, but but I'm not aware of you know very many of such instances. Yeah. Um, and um, so, but I, I do think that uh, the you know new great entrepreneurs are, are born of every day, yeah. um, and we'll continue to see amazing companies get built. Um, so. Um, yeah, but I, but I, I would uh, definitely advise people who are starting a company to expect a, a, a long period of quite high difficulty. Yeah. Um, but I mean, as long as uh, people stay super focused on creating the absolute best product or service that really delights their end customer, and if they stay focused on that, then um, if you, if you're Basically, if, if, if you get it such that your customers want you to succeed, mm. then, then you probably will. Now, Elon Musk, the man who became a millionaire at, I think, 20. The man that co-founded PayPal, one of the first payment processing services on the internet. The man who created the first private space company in SpaceX. The man who created Tesla the most luxurious electric vehicle on the planet. Uh, and I'm sure there's a bunch of other things that I'm missing, but y'all get the point. I think it says a lot when this person who's done all these incredible things and is doing all these incredible things admits himself that when you start a business, you have to be prepared for a high painful level of difficulty. I agree with the sentiment of what he's saying because a high level of difficulty comes with anything worth doing. So let's go ahead and unpack this in this one, guys. I'm Darian with Darian the Dev. If you guys are into tech, entrepreneurship, coding, startups, or anything like that, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. That's all we talk about here on this channel. This is about to get me fired up because honestly, I feel like I've gone through this myself more than once when it comes to just facing constant rejection and just being uncertain with what you're doing. Whether that's when I went to coding bootcamp, when I first started learning how to teach myself to code, or when you're trying to change careers or when I first dropped out of college or when you're trying to start a business, like these are all things. I remember shooting my very first music video and just being nervous about that and being just really afraid of what people were gonna think of it and was it gonna be good enough and would people pay me to do it and just being so worried about so many different factors and so many different things that you ultimately don't control. Things that you won't know until you start doing it. And when you start doing it, you will find out different obstacles, different challenges, different things that you didn't anticipate. And that's going to be hard. That's going to be challenging. That's not going to be easy, but likely whatever is causing you to go through that, whatever you're willing to go through all this stuff for is going to be worth it. And I think for somebody like Elon Musk to admit himself that he had his own difficulties or his own tough time or in his words, he said he doesn't know very many instances where businesses start where they don't go through a high level of pain and suffering and difficulty at some point because that's what entrepreneurship is. That's what believing in yourself is. That's what doing anything outside of the norm or normal based on society standards, that's what it is. It's hard, it's difficult to go against the grain to do something other than what you've been doing. It's gonna be hard going against what your parents think and what they think you should do for a career. It's gonna be tough when you can't spend time with your friends because you have to learn how to code or you're encoding bootcamp from nine to five and you're doing projects outside of that or you're trying to take a course online to learn how to do business and you're out trying to talk to customers and you're trying to set up meetings and appointments and trying to validate markets and doing all these things like these things are hard these things are tough it might be hard on your relationship with your significant other when you have to spend time doing something completely different than what they've known you to be doing there's all these different factors that come into running a business and that's excluding all the other lessons that you're gonna have to learn and financial difficulties and investing your own money and trying to raise money and trying to get your first customer and figuring out how to run a business and learning all the legal stuff. There's so many different things that go into running a business or like I said, fill in the blank with whatever it is that you want to do, learn a new skill, get a degree, whatever it is change a career all these things are incredibly incredibly difficult for some period of time even when i took my azure 
AZ900 fundamentals exam. I failed the first time I took the exam. That was painful. I studied, I took practice exams, I made flashcards, I, I practiced the actual, the actual things that I was studying inside of Azure. I was working in Azure every single day and I just knew that I was prepared to take the exam. And then I failed and that hurt and that sucked. But you know what? It motivated me even more to not let that be it. Because I couldn't pass that time, was I gonna let that be it? I just, I'm never gonna get an Azure certification. I'm never gonna go back and try it again. So again, for uh, for like a couple days, I was down on myself. I had to have, you know, some conversations with some people. It wasn't easy, but once you get over that, you have to keep going. And once you do that, you end up getting results when you keep going, guys. And that's just with anything. Even for somebody like Elon Musk, who we all know, who we all can, I'm sure, at least appreciate his contribution to humanity and the things that this guy has done and that he's continuing to do. And if he even went through periods of just extreme struggle or hardship in his businesses i think he even put up all of his own money for tesla at some point all the money he made from paypal he put into tesla and so with that being said even the most successful people have times or had the most difficult times at some point when they were trying to do whatever it is that they went on to become known for great for whatever and the same can be said for you and this is even words of advice to myself guys so i'm making this kind of just some personal development and some motivation for anybody out there so yeah somebody like elon musk can even admit that things start out hard things are going to start out tough anything you want to do different in your life anytime you want to make a change anytime you want to do something outside of the norm or outside of what's expected of you or if you just raise the expectations of yourself and you start reaching for bigger goals guys it's not going to be easy in fact it's likely going to be very very hard but that doesn't mean that it's not going to be worth it and even if you come up short guys it doesn't mean that you won't become a better person because of it all right so i don't know who needs to hear this out there but if this was helpful please make sure you guys like share and subscribe it really helps me stay motivated to put this content out for you guys let me know down in the comment section if you guys like this format of videos i'm trying to bring out more content this year guys so we can help grow this channel we're almost at a thousand subscribers and i'm so excited about that thank you guys so much for being here with me this is darian with darian the dev check out the description box down below for my free intro to coding bootcamp course as everything in there i wish to before i went to coding bootcamp i'll catch you guys in the next video all right peace